Hello, my name is Ian McCall. What I'm going to do today is to introduce you to the video teleconferencing diagnostic facility that we've set up to um, access the federal government's new teleconferencing, uh, telehealth item numbers which come in July next year. We have both a store and forward uh, facility uh, called Skin Consult Telemedicine. And there's a video already on uh, this website to uh, describe that, uh, that uh, system. This one, though, is going to look at video conferencing. So how do you set up a video consultation? Well, first of all, you decide whether you want to speak to a particular dermatologist or the first available appointment. If it's for a particular dermatologist, you click here, and it'll take you to the list of participating dermatologists. At the moment, there's just me. You perhaps might want the first available appointment, in which case you click that, and it'll take you to whichever doctor is on as the emergency doctor that day, or whoever has the first available appointment. So how do you set about uh, making that appointment? Well, there's a very simple form that you fill in here. You basically have a look and see at the available appointments, uh, choose one of them. When an appointment is um, used up, it will be removed from the list. Then you have to fill in the details in this particular form. It's pretty straightforward. Let me show you how we might do it. The referring doctor's name. Uh, his daytime phone number. His mobile number, because we might need to contact him after hours. And then his email address, because we have to send him back some uh, details of the appointment. And then he has to select the time you'd like. Well, let's say 5 o'clock on the 20th of January. So we'd write in the 20th January, 5 p.m. The patient's name. The patient's date of birth. And then the patient's Medicare repat number. And lastly, the patient's telephone number for prepayment of the consultation fee by credit card prior to the consultation. And that's it. That's all you need to fill in. You then just press Submit. And what happens, you get a little message that says, thanks for booking an appointment. Your booking will be confirmed shortly. You'll be sent an email with further instructions for the video consultation. So what's in that email? Well, the email uh, will give you a button that says register for the video consultation. You have to press that. And you'll then be sent another little email that asks just for your name and uh, your email address and it then sends you a link to that consultation. That link specific for you. Um, it's only between you and the referring doctor. You should store that email because on the day of the consultation you click that link and you're automatically connected to the video consultation. Uh, you will in fact be sent a reminder on the day of the consultation so it will come up on your uh, email inbox on that day with the link. So with the appointment itself it's important that you're on time because these appointment times are fixed as you could see up above. The appointment lasts 15 minutes although there's a 20 minute window. This is to give me time to go from one doctor to the next. Now note you'll be sent a recording of the consultation for your records. Um, and you can then discuss the recording with the patient if you if you desire to do so. And in fact, the patient can attend the consultation uh, if you wish. Uh, again, because there may be some questions we'd want to direct straight to the patient. 
What's important, though, to make the consultation effective is you've got to have the patient's clinical record open on your computer when the consultation begins and have access to the patient's images for the diagnosis and discussion. A um, little bit about your computer, you need to have a microphone and speakers or a USB headset such as the Logitech ClearChat Pro range. You can get them at any of those particular uh, retailers. They're costs around $50. Now, if you want to just, first of all, perhaps come along to a practice uh, video conference, then we can organize one with you going through all of this. Um, to register for a practice webinar, you can just email me at imacall at aussiemail.com.au and I'll send you an invitation to the next available session. And this was the link down here for the Stone Forward Teledermatology Service. This is where there's not a live video conference, but you, in fact, simply put in a patient's history and uh, some images and send it to me. There is another uh, video under the YouTube's video tab at the top of this website that goes into the uh, Skin Consult Store and Forward Teledermatology. However, today we've been looking at uh, video conferencing. Uh, I've shown you how relatively easy it is to set up that consultation. I can assure you that the end experience should be to your liking and hopefully we can enter this brave new world of, uh, of consultations across the ether um, with some confidence. This by the way was a photograph taken in Scotland just now where my wife happens to be um, and there's snow everywhere and as it says there when it's just too difficult to visit that's when these teledermatology online consultations can be very useful. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.